No, I'm just saying, I think you should give Star's dad some space. Maybe he'll find somebody else to make him miserable. Yeah, I'll be dead by then. He let Star come back to school, right? With a bodyguard. Uh, and he told Sean last night if it came anywhere near Star to call him. I would not want that guy to beat me up. Well, I'm not afraid. I still want to make things worse for Star. Or go to jail. He can't put you in jail. But if he told you that, he was just trying... Mr. Manning has a lot of power in this town. And believe me, Star and I know that he would use it. Look, like said, you have to promise me that once this whole thing is done and over with, only you and I can know the truth. Things are going great with the vineyard now. And it's the funniest thing, you know, because everything fell into place after you let Nash buy you out. Oh, yeah, I yeah. heard about Nash's big plans, but big plans mean big money. Big money means big risk. Okay, excuse me, but were you not the one who said that we can't talk about non-business things in my office? And, I don't know, is it Nash's vineyard B.E. business? Okay, fine. I won't worry about you or your future. And if you want to give me more grief about taking care of you, then go for it. Um, could you try to find out who Todd's sources are and maybe try to get him to stop printing this crap or at least let you know first? Yes, I don't know why everybody in our family has to be so crazy. Yeah, I wish I knew. Anyways, I gotta go. Nash is coming home today. Ooh. We'll get out of here. Okay, see you later, Natalie. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, so um, I think we did a call PR, try to see if they can maybe spin this article somehow. Give it up, Sparks. What? Pretending you're not dying to get out of here and ask John McBain what's going on. I don't care. Really? Could have fooled me. And what would you do if I told you that I care about John? Would that make you jealous, Uncle Jerry? I'm so sorry, Glenda. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I really didn't. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, you're right. Bo doesn't approve, but then again, he's always been a by-the-book kind of guy. That's why he divorced you. Oh, 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 okay. That felt like a cheap shot. Well, it wasn't meant to be. Nora, I know how much you respect the law, but I also know that you make allowances for certain situations just like I do. And I'm sorry if you felt that I was attacking you. And I'm sorry, I I didn't come in here to attack you. I'm sorry, Glenn. I need you to understand something. I'm the eldest son. When Paul died, I became head of the family. I'm also the one who spent all that time in the trenches with Paul. Now, you're right when you say that Bo would never do what I did. But Paul would have. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. You loved Asa. I sure did. So I think you know what he wanted me to do. Nora, you saw firsthand what Webster was doing to Buchanan Enterprises. We were hemorrhaging money. I had to stop it. Couldn't you have just come to me? Couldn't you there let me do something for you? There wasn't time to go through the proper channels. He was sitting here in his office. What did you want me to do? Let him steamroll us? And if your answer is yes, what about the rest of the family? If this company were to go down, what would I say to the family? What would I say to Matthew? This company is their future, and this company and their future meant everything to Asa. I know. Why do you think he set up his will the way he did? Because he wanted us to fight for this company. Did he didn't want us to fight dirty, though. I think he wanted us to fight in the manner that he would have. And, um, and that's all I did. Was Asa a horrible person? Sometimes. So what am I? Unless this has something to do with work, we had nothing to talk about. We, we have to find a way to work together. 
okay? But you haven't spoken to me in days, even before you broke up with me. That is assuming I'm done, not you were done with me, right? Those are the only two words you've been able to say to me. So the way I understood it, I was free to do whatever the hell I wanted to with whomever I wanted to do it with. Whatever works. I'm just explaining. What are you trying to explain, Saeed? I caught you. In bed. At a motel. With John. Did I hallucinate? No. Then there's nothing else I need to know. God, I'm tired of looking at your back, Antonio. Do you know how many times you've walked away from me when I'm just... I was just trying to be with you. Well, if you're trying to drag me away, congratulations. You finally did it. Uh, come on, I don't want to fight you, Chris. Why don't you come to my family's business? I was hungry. I knew it where my mouth was going to be. You're moving on Natalie when she's with me, and now you do the same thing to my brother. I think you need to be taught a lesson, John. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty tired, but if you want to take it outside. Hey, whoa, 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 what's going on here? 